Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And to make sure you hit that like button, we're back for more San Jose State. And this is your guys' favorite episode where you guys get to be creative. Submit your recruiting info down below. The template is in the pinned comment. So follow that. And remember, the better the story, the more likely you are to get selected. And this is one of my favorite episodes, too, because I get to know some of you guys and add you guys into the series as well. So we are going up against a pretty bad Arizona State team. They have two wins on the season. They're two and eight. And we're going to be looking to take care of business as we are still on top of the division in the Pac-12 South. But look at Washington. They are undefeated. 9-0, number two in the nation, and they are, wow, just rolling. Look at Jacob Eason. He's thrown 34 touchdowns and three interceptions. Ahmed has ran for 1,000 yards. I mean, they are just unstoppable. But let's just look at how bad Arizona State is. You can see they're in the bottom, probably like 10 schools in the entire nation on both offense and defense. I mean, that's just really bad. So we got to take care of business in this game. We're definitely expected to blow them out. We'll see how it goes, though. But they do have some weapons on offense. So I did make a change here because I haven't been seeing any penalties at all. So I've actually used Jake Hitz sliders on Operation Sports. Not the sliders, but the penalty sliders. And I actually am going to change the normal sliders coming up uh, next season. I'm not going to change them this year because I'm already using some. But moving into next year, I'm definitely going to use some new sets. And I'm probably going to use Jay Kitt's full slider set. And he's done a lot of testing. A lot of people have done a lot of testing. I want to just, like, try that out. I need kind of a more, more of a challenge and uh, just bringing some new life to this channel. I'm, last game was really, really fun. I got to admit, last game was really fun. And uh, I actually made the penalty sliders before last game so actually last game was the first game you saw with the penalty sliders and i think i only saw one penalty in that game and in this game we'll see how many we get so here we go we are at home for the final home game of the season and here is drayvon jennings scrambling out of the pocket getting inside the 25 yard line for 16 yards and a first down so now here is Jennings running Trey Walker in motion, but giving it off to Jay Taylor. He's in the game getting some PT, and he's picking up five yards. So now here's a lob pass over the top of the linebacker to Kasiri Robinson, the third string running back on our depth chart. He picks up 11 yards. So now inside the five, Tyler Nevins back into the game. He's getting into the end zone for the one-yard touchdown run, and he's making it an early 7-0 lead. So here comes this Arizona State offense. They have been struggling all year, and here's a handoff to Carter from Sterling Cole, and look who's there. It's Andre Armstead and Michael Cummings there in the tap for the tackle in the backfield. So second and 13 under center. Here's a quick throw across the middle to Caldwell. He's picking up nine and making it a manageable third and four. So Sterling Cole from the shotgun, throwing out to left side, throwing out to Porter. He gets tripped up and only gets three yards. And that's actually a stop and a punt. So here we come back out on the next drive, giving it off to Tyler Nevin, starting it out for eight yards up the middle. So second and two, giving it right back to Tyler Nevin. He breaks a tackle, runs a man over, breaks another tackle, and he gets to about the 50. That's a gain of 17. So now first and 10 here at the 45-yard line. Jennings from the pocket throwing deep he's got a man open and that's Jamal Taylor 45 yards downfield that's a perfect throw and a touchdown and wow I love that connection we don't get to throw the deep ball much just because you know Drayvon Jennings isn't the most accurate quarterback but when he is he's on but here is a sack on the next drive from Tyson Parker the senior as this is his first year starting along with Jalen Nelson as well as seniors so second and 14, running a screen pass out to A.J. Carter. That's a gain of eight. So third and six, under center. Quick throw across the middle, and Frank Darby holds on to that one in traffic, and that's a first down. So first and 10, handoff to Carter. He's got a hole, and he's picking up about a 12-yard gain, getting close to the 12, to the 50 on that carry. So here's Sterling Cole, another clean pocket. 
Where's the pressure at? They got six men blocking on that play, and he's going to find Darby. He's picking up a big gain on that one, getting to about the 25-yard line, and we do help them out with the face mat. There, there is the penalty sliders coming into effect. So second and seven. Here is Sterling Cole. He's scrambling up the middle. He takes a big hit on that one, and he picks up a gain of seven. So third and inches, quarterback draw this time. He's getting stopped, and that's Isaac Tagia, I believe, on the tackle. And uh, now they get it to a fourth and one. Carry out to left side. Carter breaks the tackle, and Bruh. he gets to the first down marker. How did he avoid that tackler in the backfield and pick up just enough for the first down? So second and goal, throw out to the middle of the field, and Gordon Porter's there for the five-yard touchdown reception. And actually, Sterling Cole set six for six to start this game. So now here we go back out on the next drive. Here's Tyler Nevins getting the catch on the right side on the swing pass, and he's picking up nine yards on that one. So handoff up the middle here. Five minutes left in the second quarter, and there's Tyler Nevins picking up another big gain of eight as he's already closing in on about 70 yards rushing. Drayvon Jennings this time taking it himself on a third and two, 13 yards. He's got some wheels and he picks up a big first down pass to 50. So four minutes left here in the second quarter. Here's an option play. He pitches it out to Tyler Nevins, and Nevins is getting 13 yards. We don't run the option much, because if you do, it's kind of OP if you run it way too much, so I don't like to run it a lot. So here is Matt Pollard getting the reception on the left side. And you can just see we're getting everybody involved so far in this game. Here's Tyler Nevins this time taking a huge hit, only a gain of five as we get it to a third and four. Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's gonna throw to the sideline and that's Trey Walker, six yards and a touchdown. Take another look. He's got that foot in bounds and that's a nice catch by the senior as this is his last game on the home field turf. So now a minute and a half left. Can Arizona make it a one score game going into halftime? That's a good start. Throw to the sideline to Curtis Hodges. That time he's wide open beating Nehemiah Shelton. So second and eight, throw out to the sideline once again. This time it's Gordon Porter again beating Trey Webb on that. So now third and three, pitch out to the left side in the full house formation. And that's a tackle in the backfield. And that time it's Trey White. And he's got the tackle for loss and he forces the punt. So we do decide to actually run the ball. Just getting to halftime here, not risking any injury. Remember, this is a team that, you know, we pretty much have the advantage over. They're not a very good team, and we don't want to risk any injury doing too much. So we do end up going into halftime with the 21-7 lead. Our defense is balling out, and we got to continue this on into the second half. Let's get into the action. So now to start the second half, Arizona State does start out with the ball. Can't with the boss, can't Sterling Cole get going as he throws his first pass and that's incomplete to the left side. So they do eventually get five yards on second down on a third and five this time. Look who it is, it's Andre Armstead on the sack as he is our leading tackle for loss getter on the team. And he doesn't have the most sacks but the most tackle for losses, I'll take it. So now here is Tyler Nevins back out after the punt. He's picking up a gain of 12. He's got 83 yards rushing. So now first and 10, throw across the middle, and that's actually thrown into traffic, a very dangerous throw, and that's Trey Walker on the catch and the first down. So now running Carl Wolf into motion here is Drayvon Jennings. He's scrambling out to the left side. He's going to take it himself. He's going to back juke, and he's going to get a hit, and that's a gain of 11, and that's a first down. So now after losing a yard on second down, throw out to the left side on a second and 11, and that's Matt Pollard and everybody is getting some love in this one. He picks up a touchdown, and just like that, we're up by three scores. So now here is Sterling Cole coming back out on the next drive, throwing the ball deep, and he's finding Humphrey. He's beating the senior Jalen Nelson on that one. That's a 54-yard gain. And look at this. He just runs right past him, and that is a big gain on that one. So second and eight. Here's a throw, facing a blitz, he's throwing out of bounds. He's got only three incompletions on this game. So third and eight, this time setting another blitz. He's throwing the screen pass out to the right side, but we're prepared for that. And that is A.J. Carter. He gets a loss of seven, tackled by Michael Cummings. And they do end up kicking 
the field goal, but still, it's still a three-score game. So now back out on the next drive, here is Drayvon Jennings. I'm getting close to pulling him out of the game, probably with a score on this drive maybe, and that, that time he's taking the sack, and that's a loss of 10 as we do eventually get it to a third and 20. So Jennings from the shock, I'm going to throw out to the left side. He's going to have Trey Walker and a lot of room down the sideline, and he gets caught from behind, but not before a gain of 42. As you remember, this is his final game at home, and Trey Walker, he's had a great career. Remember, he did break the touchdown record last game, and he's definitely going to be remembered and missed. So now here is Jennings scrambling out to the left side. He's got some room, and he's going to take off, and he's going to get pushed out of bounds for only a gain of three. So third and five, this time running some slants, throwing out to the left side, though. He's got Billy Humphreys. He's going to get pushed out of bounds inside about the two-yard line, and he's picking up the first down. So now Jay Taylor in the game. He's eventually getting a carry, and he's getting a touchdown. I know you guys have said to put some gloves on this guy. I'm going to put some gloves on him. He gets in for the touchdown, and now we're up 35 gotcha, to 10. But on the ensuing possession, look at that. Tyson Parker there for his second sack of the game in his final game at home. What a big game for him. So now second and long. There is a catch by Caldwell, only picking up nine yards. So Sterling Cole, third and nine, throwing out to the middle. He's finding Humphrey again, but another tackle by Michael Cummings, the red shirt freshman. So we do pull our starting quarterback, Drayvon Jennings, and decide to put in Ray Reed. And he was one of our highlighted guys two years ago. He was redshirted last year. He's getting his first taste of action in this series. But on his first pass, he's getting hurt or getting hit on that one. And, uh, you know, you have to remember that Ray Reed doesn't have the speed that Drayvon Jennings has. So I tried to scramble out that time. But here we get an easy completion to Jay Taylor for six yards. So third and fourth, throwing out to the right side. Jay Taylor again. He's going to get the first down, but no, he's going to get stripped. And that's Raheem Akusi who falls on it. Arizona State probably should have had that ball. So we go for it here on a fourth and one, handing the ball off to Jay Taylor. He's picking up about a gain of nine, and that's a first down, and the drive does continue. So three and a half minutes left in this game. Here's a throw across the middle. That time to Trey Walker, he's picking up a gain of about 15 on that one and a first down. So second and 10, Ray Reed's looking good so far, throwing across the middle. He's finding Raheem Akusi, who was his fellow red shirt, and actually his roommate, and he gets a big gain of about 15. So now on a second and 10, there's a throw, and that's picked off that time to Austin Lyles, the senior, and that's actually expected. The chemistry isn't gonna exactly be there, and that was just an overthrow. So now on the next drive, here is Arizona State starting inside the 10, but that time another tackle by Michael Cummings. He's had a great game. So third and 15, screen pass. Another one this time, A.J. Cutter's got a lot of room, and he's picking up the first down, getting to about the 27-yard line on that one, and a first down. So now here is Sterling Cole, this time facing a blitz. He's throwing out to the right, and that one, Probably should have ended the game there with a pick six. So now third and nine. This time Sterling Cole running another screen pass. Gotcha, this time he's not going to get away. He's getting sacked by Andre Armstead. And look who's there, Jonathan Leonard. He scoops it and he scores. And that is going to be an exclamation point on this game. We took care of business in this one. We blew him out. And that's exactly what you'd expect from this team as we've had a great season in our first season in the Pac-12. And I got to admit, this was a pretty much a flawless game. Drayvon Jennings only had three incompletions. And we took care of business at home on senior day. And, you know, like I said, this team is definitely built to win this year. We have a senior at running back, Tyler Nevins. We have a great slot receiver, Trey Walker. We have Jalen Nelson who's balling out. Cameron Alexander, the senior, he's been balling. Everybody's been balling. We have a lot of seniors that are going to be leaving us come next year, especially on the defensive side of the ball with Trey Webb and also uh, our other safety, Jonathan Leonard Jr. But, you know, we have some guys that are going to step up, and part of that is you guys getting your submissions in for these recruits, and it's going to be fun. 
So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We dominated Arizona State. Next game, we go up against Utah, and that's actually a big game. That's a good Utah team, and you don't want to miss that one. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.